The Lahaina wildfires have scorched Maui. They've impacted one iconic artist as well. Famous for his oceanic art and whale walls, artist Wyland has lost his Maui gallery in a devastation. Yeah, now the painter of the mural at our own Long Beach Convention Center is working to aid recovery efforts on the Hawaiian island. Joining us live from Oahu is artist and conservationist Wyland. Thank you so much for joining us. I am so sorry to hear that your gallery burned. When did you hear about that and, and what exactly happened to it. Well, I was in Laguna Beach uh, where I live and, and uh, came home to uh, Oahu to the North Shore. And uh, the very next day, you know, I woke up to uh, that fire and there was no there was no um, telephone service or Internet, anything. Everything was wiped out. It was the perfect storm, really. Uh, there was a hurricane and uh, it wasn't directly related to the Hawaiian Islands, but the winds were like 70 miles an hour over there and very strong here. And in my opinion, I think it blew down an electric line and, and sparked a fire. And then that whole town, which is very historic and old, went up like a matchbox. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, it's, it's so disheartening because, you know, I have so many great memories uh, in Lahaina. I actually lived in Lahaina town right across from the banyan tree, which caught fire. Mm -hmm. And I stayed at the Pioneer Inn, which is completely gone now, along with my gallery and all the businesses, all the homes in, in West Maui. Uh, it, it's really sad, but I'm really strengthened by, you know, the people that I talk to over there and everyone that has visited Maui. Uh, wants to uh, support the effort to yeah. bring Lahaina Town and, and uh, West Maui back. Uh, it'll never be the same, uh, but we're going to bring it back. And I'm actually going to fly over there. Uh, and my friend has a helicopter company, and she's going to fly me over. She's been flying aid over to everyone, and I'm going to maybe create a piece of art that creates the message of aloha and uh, rebirth uh, out of the ashes for Maui. Oh, wow. We want to see that for sure. You mentioned speaking to people over there. Have you spoken to your team and how are they coping with this? You know what's ironic, guys? Um, the electricity went out that day, a few hours before the fire started. So uh, Jacques, you know, our gallery director at Wyland Galleries in Lahaina, sent everybody home. I mean, it was a miracle. So everybody was okay there. A lot of people weren't. Uh, I know my own brother had his gallery, Bill Weiland Galleries, down on the other side of Front Street. And uh, he got out of there with his wallet and he couldn't even drive the car. All the cars were ganged up and everything was on fire. He drove his motorcycle through the embers. He said he, he the back of his neck, the hairs caught on fire. Uh, it was hairy, but uh, people are staying positive and uh, you know, I know my neighbor down the street here, uh, Jack Johnson, is uh, recommending some good groups to support. Of course, you guys are going to put up on the screen uh, the Maui uh, United Ways, uh, the one that I supported the first day. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go down there actually and physically uh, with my team, take some of the sculptures, some of the bronzes that are burned up, and I'm going to uh, do some street art on them with positive messaging. And we're going to auction them off and give 100% of the proceeds to the cause. Oh, wow. Is that what we're looking at right now? I don't know if you could see our screen, but it said Maui Forever. Yeah. And it had some art. Is that some art that you created in the wake of this fire? Yeah, that's that's what's left of it. I mean, you know, I can make more art, but these people have to rebuild their entire lives. And, uh, you know, I'll use my art for, for the cause. I always have, always will. And uh, Maui's strong. And... Uh, I'm going to be there with them all the way through it. And it'll come back, guys, with your support. Yeah, they need that support. We do know that you're a passionate conservationist. So do you have concerns about the fires impacting local wildlife in the area? I mean, when you're talking about the fire and the ash and the soot that gets into the water and on the land and the animals that were probably there, there's some concern there. You guys are exactly right. I mean, uh, the Lahaina Harbor actually caught fire. I mean, you know, I remember when the environmental movement started back in uh, in uh, 1969 with a, a, a river, the Cuyahoga in Cleveland caught on fire. And that's what inspired me to be an environmentalist. I said, how could we be putting so much pollution into a river where the water catches on fire? And that's exactly what happened in Lahaina. That fire actually caught all the boats. Uh, they blew up, the oil went everywhere. Poor people were trying to get away from the fire, jumping into the harbor and getting burned and uh, many didn't make it. But that also, you know, it, it impacts the quality of water and the coral reefs and 
it, it, it's basically a chain uh, reaction from the smallest fish to the great whales are affected. All life on Earth is affected when we have a, a natural disaster like this. And, uh, you know, whether it's climate change, whatever it is, uh, you know, it, 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 there's never been anything like this, guys. I've been through, uh, like, Laguna Beach had those fires yeah. in 93. I was there. The, the firemen were great. They sent back fires to save uh, my wildland galleries in Laguna, mm -hmm. which, by the way, it's 45-year anniversary this year. Lahaina is over 30 years old, and now it's gone. Uh, it's so devastating. And Front Street, such an iconic area that is completely oh. decimated. I mean, those images are just so heartbreaking. Will you rebuild yes. your Maui gallery? What do you kind of plan looking 100%. more forward? Okay. 100%. I, I encourage all the artists to stay strong and all the galleries, business owners. You know, we're competitive over there, but we love each other, and the Aloha spirit can't be broken. So we'll bring the Aloha. The whole world is supporting it. Uh, I know uh, airlines like Aloha are not in business anymore, but they're in the cargo business. And today we're taking everything we can, our food, clothing, shoes. Yeah. Everybody contributes something, even if it's a dollar to these causes. And uh, we'll rebuild uh, Lahaina back. It won't be the same, but it'll still be amazing. You can't take away the Aina, the, the land, the, the sea. The beauty of Maui will always remain. Yeah, the aloha spirit, it's its going to be there. Yes. It's going to come back. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. And if you want to help out, the Wyland Foundation is raising money for Maui United Way, and all proceeds benefit the Maui disaster efforts. You can head to wylandfoundation.org. You see it on the screen there. You can also go to mauiunitedway.org. To participate and stay with KTLA 5 for continuing coverage of the devastating wildfires in Maui and for a list of other ways to help those impacted by the wildfires. You can head to KTLA.com slash help Maui Wyland. It's an honor to have you with us. Your work is all over Southern California and so much of it in Laguna Beach. So uh, it's really been great and an honor to talk to you and we're so sorry about your gallery, but happy to hear that you plan to rebuild. Yeah. Aloha guys. Thank you. you Aloha. We'll be right back.